In today's economy, clients are looking at us to do more with less, and we're trying to respond to that with the BIM process. Our engineers are, are innovating all the time and they, they've taken some of the Revit software and, and are now putting flow analysis into the pipes. So not only we, do we get the pipe size, we, we know that the flow is right for the process. We're actually also investigating with them the idea of using it for mock-ups uh, where you'll put on a headset and uh, be able to walk into a room uh, in an empty space, uh, have a virtual feel of what a room is look, uh, feels like. We're trying to get some of the various laser scanning companies to develop a tool for us that we can scan in the evening, turn that into a model by the morning, and very first thing in the morning do a comparison between what was actually installed to what the model has. Thorne Tomasetti is not only using BIM for new structural designs, but we're also using it on our work in uh, forensics. Um, we can model existing structures and link to a database with custom tools that we've developed to allow us to visually share information with an owner. With a click of a button, we can fly through the model and share our information with them. Things that we perhaps would have written in a report in the past, we can now link with our 3D model and it's very visually meaningful to an owner. By utilizing this kind of comprehensive software at the early stage, we're able to create a significant amount of analysis that was not possible early on. So that gives us a, a competitive edge where we can uh, work with our architectural colleagues and help them to create a better project. The BIM process allows people to experiment and to get quantifiable feedback. It allows people to go outside of their boundaries and explore more creative solutions. We're always looking for that idea of how can we do things better, how can we do things smarter, what value can we bring? And Autodesk has been a great part of that.